Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I want to teach you how you can use Socks 5 proxy on laptop. So we'll be using a third party app on Google. Just search more login. That is the app we'll be using. You can see here yeah, more login. So just click it. So you click on download. So it's even downloading by itself. We need to wait for it to be downloaded completely. As you can see here that the one I downloaded is for Windows. If you're using MacBook, you'll be able to see the one for MacBook here and uh, they are working on Android. But since you can use there are other ones for smartphone. Yeah, I think this one is just very good for desktop. So let me open the app. So one click installation button. So the installation has been completed. Click this experience now. So login with Google. We can log in with anything. So I'll just log in with Google right now. So this will pop up. So you need to go with this anti-detect browser. I think that's all we need right now. Not the cloud phone. What do you want to use more login for? Let's say remote work. How many accounts are you planning to manage? Less than 50. How did you find out? I can say YouTube. Then click on new profile. Once you are done with the installation, you will come to under proxies. You want to add proxy, add individual. Which proxy do you want to add? Sox 5 proxy, right? Yes. You can just leave this one at the IP2 location. Then under here, proxy server. You need to put the proxy server here. So for my own proxy, I'm using a pair proxy that I got from Ratefy. If you don't have proxy, so what you can do is come to Ratefy. Market.ratefy.co. You can come to find offer. Under by, you will come to pair proxy. Then you see subscribe proxy or residential proxy. In my case, I'll be using the residential proxy for this tutorial. So if you come here, you see residential proxy. So you can purchase the minimum of two gigs, which is some um, seven five, or you can purchase 10 gigs, which is that seven. So depending on any amount that you'd like to purchase. So that's it. But here I have peer proxy. Let me show you. On my peer proxy, you can see the residential proxy that I have. I still have 2.8 gigabytes, which expire 11.30 so 30th of this month so all i will do is come to under endpoint generator i already have the details so i'll come to the proxy address and copy these details this is where you paste the proxy server once you paste it to split it like this then the account the account so what's the account that i want to use i want to use this account so i'll copy the mexico paste the password yeah i have my password here yeah. please enter refresh url i don't think we have refresh url so you can just leave that empty so i think this should be this so let's just click on proxy detection first to check if this proxy is available as you can see pass detection so this means this is active so you can now click on confirm so this has been connected all right so after connecting it like this and we can see that it is normal so from proxy we need to go back to the profile and here we just see it here you know we chose firefox so this is it we can just start it purchase proxy bind proxy so we click on bind proxy and we'll click on this one and we'll click on bind and restart i got it firefox that i chose is actually downloading it's not using the firefox on my device but rather it will be creating a separate firefox for us that will be browsing through so just to maximize the anonymity so let's wait for it to download all right so that has been installed so once we keep, click on start so this will start up the firefox for us as you can see this tab has opened and you see that it is actually a very new firefox is different from the one i have on my laptop this has been connected and you can see the palestine state of so let's click on war.net yeah Hong kong please note that this might not be as fast as your normal browser yes because it is actually browsing through that app so it might not be as fast note that this is actually selecting random country because that's how i set my proxy from my peer proxy as you can see here uh, the region is random so you can just pick from any random so if i want to be specific let's say i want to state to be great britain which is uk i can click on confirm once i click on confirm i will actually need to copy this new one so instead of the random one this is the one that will be generated so all i need to do is to come right to my this i can stop it and come to proxy you can click on edit Pro proxy name can be great britain under this instead of the random 
I will use this, do the proxy detection first to ensure that that is working. So I can click on confirm. Now you can see a GB to be Great Britain countries. So if you want to do US, you can do US and be specific with the state and everything. You can come back to this profile and um, restart it. So by restarting it, the browser will actually click off now and you see that the states will be Great Britain. Yeah, this is Great Britain. If you want to check war.net, it's actually loading. So you see that it will be Great Britain countries or regions. So that's how to log in peer proxy or SOX5 proxy on your laptop. Thanks for watching.